So external recorders, in my opinion, I think it is the best way that you can get the cleanest audio for your YouTube videos. But do you need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get yourself an external recorder? Well, maybe not. So let's see if you can hear a difference between something that is $600 and something that is $100. So I am a firm believer that recording anything externally will give you a much better signal than sending that same recording into your camera's preamp. And if you don't believe me, here's what it sounds like when I record directly to my Zoom H6. And here's what it sounds like when I send that signal from my Zoom H6 into my Sony ZV-E10. So for those of you with headphones or studio monitors, you can definitely hear a difference. But can you hear a difference between this setup and this setup? I don't know. You tell me. So on the left, I have a Synco Mic D2 running into my Zoom H6 handy recorder. The Synco Mic retails around $250, and the H6 recorder is somewhere between $329 to $349. And then you add in the cost of the cable and the stand, and it gets you just about at $600. So in my opinion, this sounds pretty good for a $600 rig, right? But on this side, I have a Rode VideoMic Go 2 running via the USB-C output into my Samsung Galaxy S10. And I am recording on my Android device in an app called RecForge 2. I am equidistant to both of these mics. So the setup on the right cost me probably a little bit more than 100 bucks. The Rode VideoMic Go 2 is like $99 and I already have a smartphone. And then you add in the cost for the stand, which is exactly the same in these two rigs, and you have a $500 difference between the left side and the right side. And I'll tell you what, after listening back to these, I am really hard pressed to hear a $500 difference. So if they sound really close to each other, what is the, where's the difference in cost? Well, for one, the Zoom H6 has four XLR inputs. It can do multi-track recording, and it has a bunch of built-in features and an interchangeable capsule system that gives you a bunch of different mic options. And the Synco Mic D2 is a quality hypercardioid shotgun mic. So these are probably two really nice prosumer level um, pieces of equipment. But if we look over here at Rode's latest offering in the Rode Video Mic Go 2, it's a $100 on-camera plug-in power microphone that also has USB output functionality. And yes, it is one mic, but you can connect it via the Rode Connect software to do multi-track recordings when you have multiple mic inputs. So if you are a solo content creator and you want to upgrade your audio equipment, but you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do so, don't get me wrong, I, I love this setup, but what, for like a hundred bucks, this setup on the right seems to be able to suit a solo content creator just as well. So let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about spending $600 versus $100, and can you hear a difference in audio? I'm always an advocate for making smart purchases, and most of the time I have the mentality of you get what you pay for. And if you are an audio professional like I am, yeah, that might make a difference. But if you are an everyday content creator, and the majority of your audience is watching your videos on their smartphone through their built-in speakers, most likely they will not be able to hear a difference between this and this. And so better sounding audio doesn't need to necessarily break the bank. Arming yourself with a little bit of audio knowledge can go a long way. So thanks for listening. Tell me which one you prefer in the comments below, and we'll talk again real soon.